Hey, Louise Ann, how are you? Great, how are you? Yeah, going very well. Thank you for wearing your Camilla again for us today. I, I love have, that you, you know, do that. I got to don the Camilla and the Australian uh, love. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I was so excited to see recently that there's been a financial ruling against Weinstein. Can you talk us through what happened and what that actually means? Well, it's uh, been three years in the making, uh, just to, to give you an example of how challenging it was. Um, and, you know, the Weinstein Company went through a bankruptcy. So that's important to understand because uh, that really thrust us into a whole nother category. Um, and there's so many um, just ups and downs through that. But I mean, the, in a nutshell, um, the positives of this are that we stayed the course, number one, as um, as survivors. Uh, and again, you know, through three years, uh, we had six judges through many of our cases release the um, directors, which was very challenging because once you release the directors, that of course took the, the monies down. Um, so that's important to know. Um, and then of course too, that we had the Weinstein company owed $250 million to other uh, creditors. And, and by that mean, I mean, you know, like a, an editor or an actor or well-known yeah. people that we actually all know. And they all stepped aside, including a major bank to allow us to have this survivor fund. Um, that's amazing. That, yeah. So that's the important part. And really, you know, I think, Unfortunately, the press loves uh, often to talk about the negatives, but sure. these are the major uh, focal points for myself. And this is why I know that, you know, look, honestly, we, there's no amount of money that would ever make up for what happened to these women, but, right. and myself included, but, uh, you know, at least we did recover some monies and um, now women won't have to go back to the courtroom um, to, you know, get anything. They just literally have to fill out this form. They have to, you know, show evidence, of course, as well. Um, but it's going to be a much more simple, calm um, process. Um, and a lot of women who lost their jobs uh, and have nothing right now are going to be able to have, you know, a fair amount. Mm, so there's basically a central fund that's been administered by but who administers it? So there's a special master uh, who okay. has been allocated to, you know, take on this task, which, you know, I got to say that's going to be a challenging one uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, sadly, there's so many of us. There's, uh, as, of, as far as I know, at least 100 to 150 um, women. But, um, you know, again, it, not all women are going to come forward, of course, as well. Mm -hmm. But his, uh, there's two of them in the a woman and a man, their, their job is to really, there's a tier um, based on what happened to you. Um, and this also includes the New York attorney general's uh, claims. So let, so just for example, like, you know, if you worked for Harvey and he said something horrific to you, yes. you, you know, and you were in a, in a working for him and obviously that was harassment, but it's vastly different than obviously being assaulted or raped. Sure. You know, people are paid based on, on these experiences. And there is again, a tier um, that everybody has to follow and, right. and, you know, they get paid based on that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, it sounds like it's, um, sounds logical and at least it's, it's um, a massive, uh, massive progress to where you were, um, you know, a year ago. So congratulations on staying that Thank course because I know it took a it took a massive toll on you personally. I know that. Yeah, I was. I'm really happy to see it be over. I hope um, we can talk about yeah. other things now. How good is that? I can have fun. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I. You know, what is great about it is like, just seriously, because we work in real estate, right? So, I mean, right. just the fact that I was able to talk to, there's a, a, a woman who runs a major bank here, a very well-known bank here, who, you know, I, we were literally negotiating in the hallways about this because if she and her, and her company bank did not step aside to allow this fund to go through, we, we literally would have nothing right now yeah, right. So it, that's in that's people don't really talk about that but that's really mm. the case there's a lot of people who did a wonderful thing and again people who are owed 250 million dollars so that's a lot of people um who you know said you know what we understand what transpired so we're willing to step aside you know they're going to recoup a certain amount of money based on many other things but they were allowed to they were allowing us to have this fund um, go through and if you will, like pass them up so that we were to be paid, yeah. you know, in front of them, if you will. 
Yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. Good negotiation skills there. Good negotiation. Oh my gosh. My skills. dad would be happy. He's, he's uh, always wanted me to be a lawyer. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think living with a lawyer my whole life, uh, that's <laughs> proved <laughs> yeah that's right it's been advantageous um so yes. we've um we've all been sitting here in australia watching with horror at, at what's happening in the u.s and the the cases the coronavirus cases are just going like they're still spiking from what we can see in various parts of the country how are you faring in la i mean to be quite frank we i like even today I was out i'm actually um about to sell one of my properties so i was out and uh uh, you know, I, it's interesting because a lot of our world just seems to be this, it, the machine is still moving. Um, but you know, when I drive down, for example, like Montana street in Santa Monica, I mean, I was very struck by the fact that, you know, companies that have a sign that said we are open. Um, but then there's literally nobody on the streets, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, listen, as far as real estate goes, it is moving fast, um, and furious, but I think definitely for the day to day, uh, companies, it's, it's way slower. Um, and I, for the most part, I've seen people being respectful by wearing masks. Um, you know, that being said, I'm not going to any like college ragers. So uh, you know, <laughs> I, I understand that I might be not the demographic to ask uh, <laughs> about yeah, that. Totally. But, totally. So t- you know, tell me real, the real estate, so the real estate market's going strong. Uh, yeah. For, it's definitely a seller's market right now. Um, I mean, part of the problem is there's not a lot of inventory on, yeah. but I will say that people are, I mean, everything's going over asking and, um, just to give you an example, I mean, things that are from zero to 700,000 are moving at about 30 in 30 days from like listing to done, which is just challenging to do. Yeah. Um, and then in addition, um, from that to like 1.5, um, is, is more at about like 60, 70 and, and then above that. So 1.5 above is moving at about 117 days, which is very fast like it's really pretty yes, from- that sounds that sounds slow to, to us yeah, in australia okay. um <laughs> yeah but so that's really that's moving fast for you guys yes it is um i mean because i think the you know looking at the challenges that we all have i mean the major banks are definitely challenged by lending because a lot of people have you know are out of work yeah. um so and there's also so many more uh things that they need now for proof of of funds etc um but then also they've lost a lot of their uh workforce um but Overall, I mean, I think, you know, look, people who had the money are, are still spending it, especially when it comes to real estate. I think people are nervous, to, you know, where the economy is going to go. And, you know, for the most part, real estate, you know, holds its value and then some. Uh, and, you know, people who are in the know know that and they're, yeah, they're spending. They're spending. So have you had that? We had media speculation over here that um, prices were going to drop by 32 percent. Very specific number. Um, uh, have you had the same media speculation about the, you know, falling off a cliff and the prices are going to, you know, plummet? Plummet. I mean, I've definitely heard so much about our economy. I mean, I think the challenge right now is nobody really knows where it's going to go. I mean, that's, yeah. I think that's the major uh, problem. Um, and then, you know, uh, putting your money into hard assets like gold, even for example, or real estate. I mean, that's kind of the push, but we haven't, uh, I haven't heard that it's going to drop right. so much because people are really, I, I, it's almost like this buying frenzy because, and I, just from my personal understanding, I feel like, you know, they've been cooped up in possibly a home that they, they really now know they hate. Yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're ready yeah. to just say like, I'm done, let's get out. And that's it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of that around that. The home is no longer fit for purpose or the relationship no, is no longer fit for purpose. So they need two <laughs> homes instead of just one, right? Yeah, that's happening here too, that's for sure. I know. Sure. I mean, um, listen, I'm blessed that I live in a place where it, it is so beautiful here. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I... But that being said, I mean, I have friends who live in Los Angeles and with, you know, all from the protests to COVID, you know, they just, they literally moved out of state. I mean, they just couldn't hack it anymore because they just really couldn't walk out their doors anymore. Um, it became really almost just too tenuous and stressful. Um, and, you know, I, I appreciate all the 
protest. I'm not saying that, but it's just, you know, you have to understand like one of my friends is a single woman. I mean, you know, she'd try to walk her dog and she just felt scared all the time when you have, you know, thousands of people and COVID and everything. I mean, it's, it's a problem. So she literally, she actually moved to Florida. Um, so I'm not, I'm from Florida and it is beautiful there, but yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, but I mean, she, she, there you can move to the beach for the price of having a condo here, you know, in the city, which is vastly, it's just more peaceful to yeah, be near absolutely. nature. Yeah, we've yeah. got a lot of people realizing that they can work from anywhere, so they're they're moving, you know, out of Sydney to various places. So, um, wow, your husband is still busy. He's in the mortgage lending space. Is he still yeah, so, going on? Yeah, they are. I mean, so the challenges for lending is just again. Um, for instance, for him, he brings in purchase predominantly, um, and so he's getting a lot. You know so many deals in and really, I mean, it, he's working all the time, but the challenge is then the back end is more stressed, right? Because in addition to that, refis have just gone through the roof. Um, you know, major, other major banks have literally just halted. I mean, mm-hmm. I know that they have their um, employees, like they're paying them and they're just saying, stay at home. So what that does is it then starts to crunch down. So, I mean, he works at Citibank. Um, and so, you know, they're getting a lot of deals in, but it's just then hard to process them. So that's been the challenge. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the, it's not for a lack of not having the clients. It's for the lack of being able to process it. Yeah, yeah, we're having the same yeah. problem here. Our banks um, are taking way longer now to, to oh, really? process that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a global, we're all, we are all, literally all in this together. We're all experiencing similar things at the same time. I know. It's honestly so sad. I mean, I try to always find the silver lining of everything, you know, but uh, obviously for so many people, it's so just, it's really taken us down. And I mean, even for myself included, I mean, we're selling a, one of our properties just because we'd like to just uh, feel just more peaceful. I mean, it de- we definitely yeah. were hit um, being in the real estate uh, world, you know, sure. at least three months. Um, and then when you don't have a rental being rented out, I mean, you know, yeah. and we have four kids, as you know, yeah. I mean, it, it takes its toll and you'd like to just breathe. And I, I don't actually get the settlement until December, which is, you know, oh. unfortunate because I could have used it right about now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I know you've been working on a really um, exciting new project and I um, am very excited. We're going to talk about that maybe in a month or so's time, but I'm excited that we're going to be able to start talking about positive moving forward, exciting, fun stuff instead of that awful stuff you've been going through for the last few years. Well, so I used to listen to Wayne Dyer. I don't know if you've ever heard oh, yeah, him, I have. But yeah, yeah, he's a motivational speaker. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's funny because a million years ago, somebody gave me this CD and uh, I, I still have my 2003 Lexus because God bless them. They last forever and they are so beautiful. Um, but it has a CD, you know, component. <laughs> no, I don't have the fancy new one. And uh, so uh, that CD is in my car. Right. So going through all of these, the last three years, you know, it would just pop up every now and then. Um, and listening to many of the um, survivor stories, I mean, they are just so hard and takes its toll and being the lead of this class action, uh, you know, obviously takes its toll. Um, But Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So that was, that really just stuck with me. And I thought, you know, I really would like for once to look at this experience, which obviously is a negative, but in a, you know, with, with a different set of glasses, you know, some rose colored glasses uh, for once. And so basically, yes, uh, that's what we will discuss the next time Mm because it is an actually wonderful project and miraculously has gone um, very well. Um, So, you know, Godspeed made it, made it all happen. I mean, even through COVID it's still moving. So I feel like, I've done it's, something right. <laughs> it's, meant, it's meant to be. It is meant to be. I can't wait to be able to share that with Oh, everybody. my gosh. I yeah. couldn't believe when COVID happened. I thought, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, I suffered the, you know, the arrows, if you will, of all these predators being in the movie business for 20 years. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, to find, like, it, literally we had a big reading and everybody, like, we had all these producers wanting to jump on. And, and then two weeks later was COVID. So, 
anyways, but you know, what is Why the yeah, the testament of a bunch of doers is yeah. that it's still getting done. We're recording some stuff next week. Um, so that's, you know, that's pretty impressive uh, yeah. for, for during this time. I mean, you know, I've, totally. I've enjoyed too, like being with my kids, which is uh, honestly a true blessing and such a rarity for me. So I, yeah, absolutely. there, there are the silver linings. There is always a silver lining. And I know that, that the kids have all loved having you at home as well. So Oh, oh yeah, beautiful to catch up. Yeah, you too. I love seeing you. And um, I mean, may I see you in real life soon? Oh, I hope so. I'm not sure. It's, I think it's going to be a while before I'm allowed to come to you. That's for sure. That's um, true. But, that's um, true. Yeah. but Well, what but do you think? Happen. Do you think it's going to be, I mean, six months, a year? What do you think? Um, I, I don't think that there'll be any over, overseas travel for Australians this year, um, unless it right. might be um, maybe maybe we'll be able to go to New Zealand um, or a couple of places like that. But other than that, um, I, I reckon it's going to be a year before we're allowed to go to the US. It may even be longer. Um, it just depends on what happens over there. Yes, I agree. I do agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can all get it together and stay healthy. Yeah, exactly. And we will continue to Zoom. Um, yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> Great to see you. You take care. Thank you. You see too. You later. Bye-bye.